today, you will need a bench chair or ottoman, a set of dumbbells, and a fan. We're going to do the damn thing. Out in front of you. Let's roll the wrist out. Starting super gentle. Now from here, take that neck all the way into the chest, all the way around. Be three circles going one way, three the other, all the way around the neck. Make it feel good. Go right into hip opener, starting on that right side, step up and over. Make sure you have a little cone, a little post, to step up and over, getting that hip open. Core is pulling in. Woo. Switching up to the left side, on three, two, one, moving on that, up and over. Core is drawn in. Standing nice and tall. You can think about your posture. A couple more seconds here for three, two, one. Beautiful arms go all the way out. We're going to scoop through that center. Make it alive for me. Breathing in, the nose out, the mouth. All the way around. A couple more seconds here. Five, four, three. Two, one, beautiful. We're taking it down into a forearm plank. I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds. What I don't wanna see is booties in the air or hips sagging. I wanna see a nice straight line down the spine, starting on three. Two, one, let's go. Pull that belly button up and in. Make sure scooping that belly button up and into the spine. squatting forward you're sitting back into that squat if you have your bench or your chair and you want to practice tapping that booty back into the squat you can do that or you can do it without totally up to you push those knees out against the band 30 seconds starting on three two one let's go push those knees beautiful Get the shoulders back head is high Pushing through the top of your head as you come up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. We're going to move on to a crab walk. Give yourself the length of a yoga mat. We're going to take the little steps, but as we do this, you're going to be kind of pigeon toed. You're going to lead with that heel. Stepping through. We're gonna be going there and back. We're gonna do this for about a minute. So get comfortable with that mind and muscle connection. Picture your booty is highlighted on an anatomy chart. We're focusing our attention there. Starting together on three, two, one. Here we go. We're on in. Lead with that heel every step. your glutes, that mind and muscle connections there this whole time. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relief. We're moving on to a 
cha-cha, you're gonna bring your feet together and picture at the top point of a triangle. So we're gonna step back to each of our points in the triangle. Lead with that heel again, stepping back. Back on three, two, one. Here we go, core scooped in, step back with that heel. The mental of, of leading with the heel is gonna help us target that glute more. Get that core scooped in. Got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Get some water if you need it. So I'm going to give you two options here. You can either leave your band on. We're going to be doing sumo squats. So we're going to be holding one heavy dumbbell goblet style. Bracing, holding right against our body at our chest. You have the option of keeping the band on, keeping it off, totally up to you. We're gonna sit into that squat, come up, squeeze. Three sets, about 45 seconds. <laughs> Excuse me, starting together. On three, two, one, here we go. Sit back in that squat, squeeze. Core drawn in. your head. Knees are working out against that band if you have it on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Set that weight down. We're going to be doing two sets of everything today, which I know is a little bit out of character, but we have a lot of sets. <laughs> Go back into that sumo squat. On 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Give me intensity. Push your knees, knowing this is your last set of these. Beautiful. Push the top of your head as you come up. Drive into those heels. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Okay, shimmy your chair, your bend, your ottoman into place. You're going to be doing a hip thrust. If you have your band on, keep it on. How we're going to set up for this. The bottom of your shoulder blades are going to be resting on that bench. We're planted, hip width apart. As you come up, picture you're scooping your pelvis up. Okay, so how we think about when we're doing our glute bridge, keeping that pubic bone tilted forward. As you come up, picture scooping that pubic bone, keeping that chin in a chest. We're going to do this for two sets. 45 seconds, starting together. On three, two, one, here we go. Scoop those hips up, chin in the chest. Come into a nice flat tabletop. You don't need to overextend your hips at the top. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Relief, you can sit all the way down. Get some water if you need it. We're gonna take about 15 seconds of rest here. We're gonna do one more set of that. Burn it out today. Two by two. Take some nice deep breaths. Be ready to come with fresh intensity. We're gonna get set up here to work. On five. Four, three, two, one. Bottom of your shoulders coming onto that bench. We're planted. Scoop those hips up on three, two, one. All the way up. Squeeze those cheeks. Hold that tension as you come down. Scooping through those hips. Make sure scooping those hips up. Beautiful. 
levels. So good. Looking straight forward. Don't crane your neck to look at me. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relief. Set that dumbbell to the side. We're gonna super set. We're gonna come onto all fours. We're gonna do kickbacks. 15 seconds each side. Get squared up. Knees are hip-width apart. Shoulders are directly above the wrist. We're gonna kick through. So as we're doing this, you can, you know, do nothing here. Or <laughs> You can fully extend, boom, like you're kicking a door shut. Boom, kicking that door shut. On three, two, one, here we go. Kick your door shut. Give me intensity. Yes. Boom. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, starting on three, two, one. Kick that door shut all the way through. Full extension. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take that band off. We are going to be grabbing one of our dumbbells. We're going to be doing press overs. It's been a while since we've done this. So you're going to brace your dumbbell with two hands. We're going to start at one shoulder. You're going to press up and over that head. Up and over the head. Our super set for this is going to be shoulder taps. I warned you, Bree, so we can do plank punches here. Um, so if you come into the shoulder tap in between sets, if your wrists are bugging you, anybody here, punching forward, we're gonna do that in between every set. So we're gonna be going up and over for our 30 seconds and then dropping it down, starting together, on three, two, one, here we go, up and over. Pork on it. Beautiful. So good. Keep breathing. Getting those shoulders for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, set it down. Shoulder taps are playing uh, plank punches on three, two, one. Here we go. We're drawn in. Five, four, three, two, one. Really. Get some water. We have one more set of that. And so you see saying two more sets. Woo. We're working through. Grab your dumbbell, get ready to press up and over. Starting together. On three, two, one. Here we go. Up and over. Super strong. Don't move your head side to side. Keep that head in one place. Do the shoulders to press up and over your head. Up and over. Fifteen. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set it down. Pick your poison. Plank punch with their shoulder taps on. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Early. All right, my friends, get some water. We are going to be doing a split squat. I'm going to give you the option to do this with weight, without weight, with one dumbbell, with two dumbbells, and without the chair. We're going to have so many options. Okay. Regular old split squat with no weight, so we know what we're getting ourselves into. One foot swing on the bench or the chair. I, I find it's easiest to then pop myself into place. Some people want to plant this foot and then set up here. Get to a nice position where then you can lower down, taking into that squat and come and sweep. We're not coming forward into that lunge, we're sitting down into that lunge. Okay? 
the options here. If you want to add a dumbbell, one dumbbell, I find it's best to brace at my chest and the end. And you go. If you're like, I'm ready to build on this, add some progressive overload here. Both them are going to be held down at the side. Lower down into that lunge. Okay? So you can decide what you want to do here. Two sets only. So it's okay if it's going to be kind of brutal for that two sets, yeah? We can start together. Plant in the right foot. Left foot on our bench. Ready to work. On three, two, one. There we go. Driving to that heel. Keep going here, breathing into the nose, out to the mouth. Got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Set your weight down, protecting the back if you're using it. I'm gonna be switching sides here in just a couple seconds. I'm gonna give you a full rest in between sides. Get some water if you need it. Woo! Get planted in your left foot. Right foot's going up on that bench. Shoulders back, head is high. Ready to sink into that split squat. On three, two, one. Here we go. Perfect, and so good. Push through the top of your head as you come up. The shoulders back. Drive through that foot. You can distribute the weight to the outside of the foot, kind of thinking pigeon-toed almost. Five, four, three, two, one. Relief. Set them down, get some water. We've got one more set. Okay, my friends, grab your dumbbells. Plant it in the right foot. Left foot up on the bench. Get yourself set up. Ready to work. On three, two, one. Let's do this. Pulling that core in, using it to anchor your movement. Inhale as you lower, exhale, press. Got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Relief. Set the weight down. Full rest. So you can come with brush intensity. Okay, my friends. Let's get set up. Right foot on the bench. Left foot hops forward, ready to work. Five, four, three, two, one. Lowering down, press up. Look straight forward, neutral neck. Keep breathing, turn your brain off, work through it. Five, four, three, two, one, set it down. Okay, next up, we're gonna be placing our hands onto our bench so we can be totally bent over. Now for this, as we kick back, same thing, you're gonna lead with that heel. So notice my foot is, is almost pigeon-toed as I'm coming back with that foot. Core is scooped in as we do this. We're going to do this for 30 seconds each side, starting on the right. On three, two, one, here we go. Core drawn in. Don't just drop the leg, slowly lower, squeezing through that glute. Control the leg coming back. Five, four, three, two, one. Plant in that right foot. Left foot goes pigeon. 
heel facing the other foot. Raising through on three, two, one. Here we go. Slow and controlled back, squeezing that glute.
hug those knees in the chest, roll up for me. We're gonna flip it over, coming onto all fours. Get squared up, knees are hip width apart, shoulders are directly above the wrist. Give me a quick cat cow stretch, opening that core up. Roll the shoulder blades together. Now from here, we're going to drop it down onto the forearms. You're going to take your right leg all the way up. You're going to kick back. Here, don't overextend in the back. We're just raising through about midway. Turn together. On three, two, one. Here we go. Core drawn in. Booty shouldn't be shaking around because that core is holding strong. Switching sides on three, two, one. Get planted. Left leg goes out. Straight leg point to toe. Raising through on three, two, one. Here we go. Going here. Five, four, three, two, one. Relief. Bring it back up on all fours. Right leg, flex leg, flex foot. We're gonna pump it up to the ceiling. Starting together. Donkey kicks on three, two, one. Pump it out. Little movements. Killing it. Clench through that glute. Going five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides. Left leg, flex leg, flex foot on three, two, one. Let's go. Pump it out. Squeeze that cheek. Push through. Five, four, three, two. One, really. Get some water. Woo, we're sweating today. All right. We are going to finish up with a cardio burnout and then a stretch. I know it's a little out of character for me on strength day, but pretty sweaty, right? We might as well work with what we got. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to be doing, just like um, the workout last week, we're going to be doing 10 10, 10. We're be doing 10 jumping jacks, 10 butt kicks. Instead of mountain climbers, we're going to be doing 10 jump squats or, so jump squat, or squat up on your toes, squat up on your toes, okay? So jumping jacks, butt kicks, squat up on the toes, three rounds straight through, and then we're stretching and done. Okay, so we're so close. Jumping jacks, butt kicks, jump squats, starting together. On three, two, one. Two, three. Count yourself for 10. 10 butt kicks. So we're drawn in. Once you do your 10 butt kicks, 10 jump squats. Or up on your toes. So we're drawn in. Push. Right into it. My mat is slippery with sweat. If that says anything. Push through this. I know. Straight through. 10, 10, 10. Work through it. We're almost done. Push. We're almost done. Bring off. Work through it. Woo! Killing it, bro. You got this, Ann. Come on, Brie, you got it. Woo! You're so strong. You guys killed that. 
Light her on fire. Okay, just breathe for a second. <laughs> We're not even going to do anything yet. <laughs> Alright. What we can do is roll our wrists out. Hell <laughs> day, you guys. So strong. Pull that right knee in. Make circles with that foot. Now grab that ankle, pull that leg back. Get planted, left side pulls up. Make circles. Grab that ankle, pull it back. Now come into a really wide stance, bring those forearms into the thigh. We're going to drop one shoulder down. Now bring both hands to center, sit into a nice deep squat. You can rock side to side. Left hand, base is fine. Look back. 